joined with Ray Porter here, who is the immediate past Commodore of the Coburn Power Boats Association. How are you, Ray? Very good, thank you, Casey. That's, good to be here. Yes, thank you so much. It's good to have you in. And uh, do you want to give our, I always say listeners, do you want to give our viewers a bit of a uh, history of the club? Yeah, basically the club was started in uh, 1961 mm -hmm. and it was uh, the Cove and Small Boat Owners Association and it was a group of men who got together basically initially uh, with the cray fishermen in Cove and Sound at that time in the off-season where trawling nets through there to get the bait for the following season and, and upsetting the, the natural fishery that's yeah. in Coburn Sound. So the group was formed and uh, started up to combat that and then that went on to more of a social function and, and in um, 1963 the group was formally adopted the name of Coburn Powerboats Association and uh, become an uh, incorporated body mm -hmm. in that time. So we're celebrating our 50th year of incorporation this year. It's a big mark to hit. It is, it's a big mark to hit and the club's still going very strong and it's a very active club and we're, we're very proud of it. Definitely should be and uh, what does the association have to offer to its for its members? Um, the association's got a lot to offer for its members. Um, I think one of the biggest things around these days is secure parking. Mm. We've got, you know, the whole area is fenced off, secure parking, you've got to have passes or keys to get in. And we've got CCTV footage all around the grounds. Mm -hmm. um, we've got hard stand areas on the, on the thing, so people can, you know, when vacancies are available, park their boats in there for a fee, and that fee generates income from the club and keeps the membership fees down. Uh, we've got barbecues, toilets, showers, ramps, finger pens, lots of... Uh, there's the ramps on the screen now, yeah. and the finger pens. So the short-term finger pens, the whole club itself's just been upstairs, been renovated, and uh, we've got rid of the 1970s look and uh, <laughs> come a little bit more into the, the future, and um, we're looking at pushing it more now. We, we do have weddings and that sort of thing, so oh. pushing that sort of stuff. Um, kids' fishing comps, kids' Christmas tree we have in November. Santa comes on the sea rescue boat and uh, comes in. All the kids get a prezi and uh, enjoy themselves. So we said Great before day. that, yes, it looks amazing. We said before that the association hit the 50-year mark back in June. Yeah. What are you guys doing to celebrate it? Uh, we we couldn't do anything in June because the the club has been renovated mm -hmm. and we had our official opening. So we put it off to the 23rd of November, yep. between 12 and 4 o'clock. We're going to have an open day where the general public's invited to, to come down and join us. And we'll have displays of members' boats. We'll have displays from Shivers Marine. Marine Safety Van will be there giving flare demonstrations and advice. Sea Rescue, who operate from our premises, will be on site. They'll have their boat open for display, mm -hmm. as long as they're not on rescue. <laughs> um, Let's hope not. <laughs> there's, there's going to be a lot of uh, pictorial history of what's going on. There'll be mm -hmm. face painting, Bouncy Castle for the kids. Taylor Marine will be there to answer a lot of questions for people with their yeah. sounders and uh, there's a whole lot going on, raffles and mm. free sausage sizzle, all that sort of stuff happening on the day. Awesome and there's also a bit of a member special. There is a member special to help celebrate the club's offering uh, a membership so if you come along and pay your nomination fee on the day mm -hmm. um, you'll get the rest of the financial year membership free. Uh, that's a saving about $208 for the year. So that's to help us celebrate and um, to welcome people into the club that, that want to come along. But if you can't make it on the day, if you make contact with the club, mm. we can organise, you know, to, to make that offer run a little bit more. Definitely. There's no waiting list. There's no waiting list at the moment, so we do have some vacancies. Mm -hmm. So if you want to come in, it's best in, first in, best dressed and, yeah. uh, you know, sign up on the day and, and get your name there. Great. If anyone has any questions or want to get in contact with you about the membership or about the open day, what's the best person to ring or number? Uh, the best thing to do is phone the office on 94185868. Mm -hmm. uh, we do have a website also you can look at, covenpowerboats.com.au. And uh, we're in Jarvis Bay Cove in um, Munster. Mm -hmm. So if you get on the website, there's a little uh, map there to show you the best place to get it. And, uh, Come down and, and join us on the day. Great. Have a great time. Thank you so much for joining us today, Ray. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you so much as well. If you would like to get in contact with the Coburn Powerboat Association, 
you can get their contact details on our website, thecouch.com.au. That's thecouch.com.au.